Hi guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. There are a lot of places you can get a pet boa constrictor, but if you get seriously into collecting and breeding these amazing animals, odds are you're going to try getting an animal from one of the online reptile classifieds. Today I want to go over the pros and cons of the three major reptile classifieds online, that is fauna classifieds, kingsnake.com, and morph market, and say a little bit about how to navigate the different sites. If you're new to the channel, this is the place for information about all aspects of keeping and breeding boa constrictors in captivity. So if you want to learn all about these amazing animals, be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you've never bought an animal before from an online classified site, it can be a little anxiety provoking. However, the vast majority of the founder animals in my collection, that is the animals that I bred to produce my holdback animals, I got from these online classified sites, and I've never had a negative experience. So now I'm going to go to the different sites and walk you through the navigation, and we'll start with one of the older sites, which is called faunaclassifieds.com. Here we are at Fauna Classifieds. That's faunaclassifieds.com. And it's an older site. It's a little bit clunky to use, but it does have the advantage that you can list ads for free. And so the first time you come here, you'll need to create an account if you want to see all the pictures. But then after you come, you should be automatically signed in. And here on the home page, what we're seeing is all of the herb ads that have been added with the newest up at the top. So you can see a pretty good variety of different herps. And then down here we have some stories that are in the news about reptiles if you want to check out the latest happenings in the world of herps. To access the classifieds you go to the upper left and you click on classifieds. And then you can see the different groups of classifieds. We want to check out the boas right here. And you can see all the boa ads. And this is in chronological order with the newest at the top. And Fauna has a pretty good selection as far as having locality boas. And they also have quite a few morphs, of course. And if you scroll to the bottom of the first page here, you see there's 785 pages. And the vast majority of these have sold already. But because ads are not actively deleted on Fauna Classifieds, the ads go back over 15 years. And this is actually kind of convenient because you can look back and search for what animals were selling for, you know, many years ago. I'm going to do a search Argentine. And I just mentioned this, the search up here is pretty basic. You can just search by a keyword and show either threads or posts. So I'm going to search for Argentine. And it brings up all of the Argentine boa classifieds. We can see there's 20 pages. I'm going to go to the last just to see. I believe it goes back to 2003, so many, many years ago. You can see, crazy, you know, the, some of the prices that they were selling for. Male Argentine boa, $125. Here's 1-1, one, one, captive born and bred breeder. So $550 for a breeding pair. I bet you guys wish you could go back and pick up a breeding pair of Argentines for $500. So these animals, of course, used to be quite inexpensive and unfortunately the price has skyrocketed in the last few years. But I find that looking at these old ads is really a good way of determining where the boa market is going. I'm back at the boa classifieds and if you are interested in purchasing an animal you just click on the ad. You can see some pictures of the animal and then if you scroll under the ad you click on the contact button. And that will open Fauna Classified's internal messaging system. And it's a little bit clunky because the way that you reach out to the buyers is not through their email, but through this internal messaging system. You just type your ad here, and then you click Submit Message. And then in order to see the replies, you have to go up to your mailbox that's contained at faunaclassifieds.com. Here you see all the, the messages that I've received in response to my own ads and it's a little bit clunky rather than just getting an email sent to your own email address you have to come back to the site to see any of the responses so something to keep in mind about fauna classified the last thing i want to say about fauna classifieds is there are a number of forums 
If you go to the upper left and click on Forums Home Page, it'll open the forums. And you can see there are forums on a lot of different discussion topics, different types of reptiles and aspects of reptile keeping. Personally, I haven't explored these forums very much, but they're here if you're interested in checking them out. So that was Fauna Classifieds. Now I want to go to a site that's a little bit newer that's known as kingsnake.com and show you the features and navigation of that site. Here I am at kingsnake.com. So this site is a little more streamlined than Fauna Classifieds, but it's still pretty old. And you can see they have stories about reptiles on the home page if you want to check those out. But to get to the classifieds, you just click on classifieds at the top and then classified ads by category. And it will show you the different classifieds. We want to click on boa constrictors. And that will show us the boa ads. And they have fewer ads because the ads do expire. You can see there's a grand total of just 41 ads. And taking a quick look, they're mostly morph boas, a few locality boas. But, you know, not too much. But these ads really only go back about a month or two. The search is pretty basic. Let's say we want to look at Argentine boas. And I can tell you they don't have any Argentines right now. So if we go back, let's say uh, call, just for call albinos. You can see there's two call albinos. So really not a very large selection of animals here. And let's say we are interested in a boa. Click on the link to open it up. You can see the pictures. If you want to contact the owner, you hit contact me. And it will open up a box. You can actually put your email here. And then you can type your message here. And so this is a little more convenient because they'll actually send you an email. But it's a pretty basic messaging system at kingsnake.com. The last thing I want to say about Kingsnake is they also have forums, not unlike Fauna Classifieds. And if you want to check these out, there's a lot of potential useful information. I personally haven't really looked at them that much, but you can see all the different topics they have available here. The last site I want to show you is called MorphMarket.com. And this is the newest and the sleekest design site with the most functionality. but. Just as the name suggests, it's primarily morph boas with less locality boas. So let's have a look at morphmarket.com. Here we are at morphmarket.com, and this is the newest reptile classified sites and the most streamlined and most user friendly. You can see they have a number of different reptiles, the more common herps. You can see boa constrictors is a category. And what's nice about morph market is they list the morph boas by the genes that they have. You can see the list of the different genes. You can look at normals, hats, supers for the incomplete dominant morphs, etc. And it's just a nice way of organizing the animals. If we want, for example, to look at the Moran boas, you can see there's six Moran boas. We click on Moran, and it will show us the Moran boas, nice pictures of all of them. And the information is nice and conveniently listed. What's nice about Morph Market is you can, these are the ads that are currently for sale. You can also see ads which have sold, or you can look at all if you want to see all of the different ads. And so we look, can see for the Morans, we have a total of what, 41 animals. And this shows you the animals which have sold already. Just takes a minute to open. So these are all the Morans which have sold. If we want to look at an animal here, you can open the ad. You can see the information about the animal. And then it will tell you what genes it has. So you can see this animal is Moran. It's also hypo. And it's het for sharp albino. If you're interested in seeing other hypos, you can click on the hypo link. It'll take you to all the animals which are hypo, including the different combos. Here's a nice lipstick sun glow, possible jung glow. So it's a really convenient way of organizing the animals. 
Of course, this is really more for the morph boas than the locality boas, and the vast majority of the ads are for morph boas. But say we like this animal, we can also save it, and by saving it, it goes into our uh, favorite animals so we can come back and look at. If we go to the upper right where it says Brian Boas, we have my animals that I'm following. And it will show all of the animals that I've saved. This is the grid view. We want to see, actually that was the list view. This is called the grid view. And it can show you all pictures of your wish list, all the animals that you saved that look kind of interesting. You can see most of these are on hold. In fact, most of them had sold, but I cleared them out before recording this video. Because you can see all of the animals on your wish list. Uh, so it's a really good way of keeping organized animals that you're thinking of possibly adding to your collection. So let's go back to the, the main page for boa constrictors. So I'm back on the main boa page where they show you all the different traits. You'll see underneath we have some subcategories with locality specific boas and there's really not nearly as many locality boas here as on some of the other sites but they do have a few and for example Suriname there's 13 Suriname locality boas currently for sale and you can check those out if you want and we go back to the home page the actual home page shows you morphs like the main morph, snow, sun glow, etc. But to get to the traits, you click on traits and that will show you the individual gene traits. So you can see for sale, sold, and all of the animals. So the setup of Morph Market is slicker than the other classified sites, but if they add prices for the BOAs tend to be more expensive. And I think this might be because they charge more for the ads and also because the people who list here tend to be professional breeders as opposed to I've seen more hobbyist breeders on the other sites. Although, of course, you have all different types of boas that are being listed here from all different types of sellers. If you want to buy an animal, you need to set up a profile and then you click inquire to buy at the particular animal. You fill in the information here. And this will email to the seller and they'll also send the information to the seller's email as well and copy your email. So the communication is a little bit better, certainly than on Fauna Classified. So I'm just going to cancel this since I don't want to buy this animal. Finally, similar to the other sites, there is a community section with a lot of forums and articles and other potentially useful information. So check this out if you want to get more information on any of these topics on morphmarket.com. I'm going to end the video by showing you a few animals that I got from these online classified sites. And I thought I'd start with an animal that I picked up on Fauna Classifieds. This is a beautiful long tail boa, boa constrictor longicata. And this is a uh, female who's about five years old. I picked her up around four, four and a half years ago as a baby. And she's really developed beautifully with her colors getting quite a bit darker. And what's cool about Fauna, as I mentioned, they don't delete a lot of the ads. So I imagine that the original ad I bought this animal from is still up. And you can look back on the older ads and see what animals sold for five, 10, or even longer years ago. Next, an animal that I got on kingsnake.com. This is a farm bred Iquitos Peru, true red tail boa. And so this animal you can see is beautiful golden coloration. And I love the shape of the saddles on this guy. He's got kind of peaky saddles, which is not that typical for Peruvian boas. He's a little nippy, which is why I'm keeping him at arm's length. Again, this is from kingsnake.com. Although I don't want to imply that a certain site is synonymous with a certain type of boa, often the breeders and sellers will list their boas on multiple classified sites. Lastly, we have an animal I got on Morph Market, which not surprisingly is a morph boa. This is a moon glow male who's about six months old, the last animal that I added to my collection. And so Morph Market has a few locality boas, but it's mostly morphs. And the site is really set up to make it easy to navigate morph boa shopping. And so that's the three sites that you can check out for buying a boa online. 
I hope this video was helpful. As always, feel free to shoot me a line if you have any questions or comments. Thanks for watching and enjoy your boas.